In this video, I'm using lettuce to test vegetative growth under a cheap white LED panel versus a cheap red-blue-white LED panel, both of which have been purchased from Amazon.com. In the beginning of this test, the first thing I noticed is that the sprouts were slightly more compact under the red-blue-white light compared to the white LED light. Then, as they started getting their first true leaves, it seemed as if the plants under the white LED light were actually growing a little bit faster. So let's watch how this unfolds in this time lapse as I talk a little more about this and upcoming experiments. This video is a first of three in this series. The next two videos will be testing the vegetative and flowering stages of the plant using these same lights. So if you wish to follow along, please subscribe and click the bell icon so you will be notified as the videos are posted. I will also be giving away a free product to a randomly selected subscriber based on the comments of the final video. In this series, I am growing all the plants in the same container using the cracky method. And I chose to do this because what I found in past experiments is that if an air stone is used, it can create a situation leading to erroneous or inconsistent results. For an in-depth understanding of why this is, consider watching my aeration versus non-aeration video which will be linked in the video description below. To keep these videos simple, I am including specific details in the video description. So if you wish to know more, consider reading more in the details below. If I have forgotten to include some desirable information, please leave a comment and I will do my best to answer and add it to the description at a later time. Now let's take a look at the results. At the end of this test, it was clear that the white LED produced larger plants. Although the lettuce under the white light appeared slightly elongated, it did not disappoint with the weigh-in, which I will talk about soon. The minor elongation of the leaves was simply due to the white LED being 3000K instead of 4000K or higher. I preferred this color temperature to be fair with the amount of red light that both lights produced. However, this does not mean that using a 4 or 5000K white LED would produce any less plant mass. The first thing I looked at was leaf tip burn. Both sets of plants showed minor leaf tip burn, but throughout the test the plants under the red-blue light had just slightly more, but not enough to be of concern. Looking at the roots, all the plants were showing healthy growth, but the roots of the plants under the red-blue light were slightly smaller in mass. The next thing I noticed was that the plants under the red-blue light, compared to the plants under the white light, had a slightly darker color of green. This appears to be, in my opinion, a healthier production of chlorophyll in the leaves, but there is likely a better scientific answer to that, so please leave a comment if you feel differently. Now getting to the most important piece of information, the weight. I weighed each plant to take an average and a total. The average weight of the plants under the white light was 118 grams with a total of 473 grams. The red-blue light produced an average of 86 grams per plant with a total of 347 grams. So the white LED produced roughly 37% more plant mass than the plants under the red-blue light. Now for those of you out there wondering if they tasted any different, yes they did. I can't really say what a normal taste would be, but I can say that the plants under the red-blue light tasted slightly bitter compared to the rest. Even parts that were more pale in color still had that slightly bitter taste. So now as I conclude this video, I will leave you with this. There are pros and cons to using a tuned spectrum light such as the red-blue light in this video. This does not conclude that a tuned spectrum light is good or bad. Different plants and different growth phases play a large role in how a light is tuned. So if you take anything away from this, in my opinion, for the hobbyist, white light is an easy fail-safe choice. And in order to figure that out, I didn't grow plants in this video, I grew answers. So thanks for watching, and hope to see you in episode 2.